So I'm going to be doing uh, palettes today. Let's get a little bit more light. It's not really helping, is it? Hmm. See all this garbage here. Um, because my stuff's a mess. But I'm going to declutter these palettes, and the cats are going to make weird noises behind me. Apparently, um, yeah. It's not going to take me long. This is going to be a short video. I know a few of my videos have been pretty short lately. Sorry about that. But that is because that is what has been going on. It's just, what's up? Gosh. Cats yeah, in the background, like yelling at each other and stuff. So, there that works. Um. So, yeah. So. I have this uh, Yam Michelle Fawn one. I had really liked this one when I first got it. But now it's like I never use it. And, oh my god. Stop! Whatever's going on back there, stop! Okay, they've, one cat has left the room. I don't know what that was about. They were angry at each other for something. I would really, really liked this color, but you know what? I have, I think I have that color in a different palette now, so. And I didn't care for the fact that they put like lip glosses in this palette along with the eyeshadows and blush. Like it just, it wasn't the best thing. I mean, it was pigmented enough and it was really pretty, but I think, um, yeah, I don't think I need this anymore. Which is really hard for me to say. <laughs> this, um, my daughter uses this one all the time. The Too Faced Cat Eyes. I do like this one, although I do have trouble figuring out how to make it all work together. The colors don't seem to work together to me, but I do use them with other palettes and other singles. Um, so I, I will be keeping this. And how can I not keep something that says cat eyes, you know? <clears throat> um, so that one's going to stay. Put that back in the drawer. This, the blush nudes from Maybelline. A lot of people do not like the Maybelline nudes palettes. But as you can tell, I do. <laughs> um, I use it quite a bit. Especially this color here has gotten used a lot. And, uh, yeah, I'll be keeping it, definitely. Something I like. <clears throat> I'm sorry I keep coughing. I've been having, like, some weird, like, autoimmune issues. <clears throat> and, like, I've been getting sick left and right, so. This one is the Rock Nudes. I've not used this one that much at all, actually. Uh... It just seems to me like a lot of smoky palettes I already, have, I already have. And even though I love the blush nudes, and I think the quality in that one is pretty good, I think the quality in this one is less. I don't know. It just, I'm getting rid of it. It's not, I'm not a fan. This one, I'm not a fan of either. I've seen some other people use it and like it. I don't like the Makeup Revolution eyeshadows. I think they're way, way too powdery. So... I do not like he at all. Sorry, I thought for a minute there, I thought my uh, camera had gone off. Um, so yeah, no, this one is going. I don't like it. They're super powdery. They get everywhere. It's huge fallout for me. Just, uh, just really annoys me. Um, this is the smoked from Urban Decay. Uh, yeah, there came with like a pencil and other stuff. I actually really like this. 
I think it's a good palette. I don't use it that often, but I do use it, and I think it's a great, like, smoky eye palette. So, I will be keeping it. I think it's on sale again for $20 at Ulta. I'm not sure. Okay, so this little thing was a sample that came like an Ipsy. It's Jilly Pong Pong's Napol... Na that something palette. I can't talk today. Uh, boring. Okay, eyeshadow, but I never, I never reached for it. I mean, it's such a small little thing. I'm getting rid of it. And there's this Peony shadow trio. That one, at one point, I used a lot. I especially liked this color a lot. But you know, I have other colors like that now, and I never reach for this now. And it's you know, I'll be getting rid of it. This, the Tartlet Tease palette from Tarte. As you can tell, this one gets used an awful lot. It is my favorite, favorite little palette to grab for my everyday looks. I love this palette. Of course, it will be staying forever. <laughs> this is the e.l.f. Everyday Smoky. This is also a really good smoky palette. And I'll be keeping this one as well. But between this and the Smoked Urban Decay one, I don't feel like I need like a lot more uh, smoky palettes in my life. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. And maybe some there's some of you like gasping, like, what? <laughs> maybe there will be another one in my life that will just really make me happy. I'm really having trouble seeing what I'm doing here because the light is hitting the camera a certain way so that's hard for me to see. So this is the Pop, the NYX Avant Pop, and I will definitely be keeping this. I've used it just recently in my St. Patrick's Day collab one, and I really love uh, this palette. I think it's not really a palette to work with alone, but if you want to add some bright colors to uh, something that, that you're doing, and you know, you can work with another palette as well. And this I've had forever. It's probably the first palette I've ever owned. Um, the baked eyeshadow palette. I know that might seem silly, but I didn't really start buying palettes until like a few years ago. Up until then, I would buy singles. So palettes were not something I got. Uh, and as you can see though, I do use this. I especially used to really like this white color I would use on the inner eye. And uh, it's a pretty good palette. I'm gonna keep it. I know it's kind of smoky too, but I really like um, this blue and the white in it. And I haven't used it in a while, but I, now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, ooh, I wanna use it. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold on to it. Cause it still makes me happy. <laughs> oh my God, I hope I can like get rid of all the coughing. I'm so sorry. I just wanted, I wanted to do uh, something today so that you add a film and the decluttering ones are ones that you like so this is the beauty killer palette it's the palette that I just bought um, last month I finally got it and it was on sale so it was my big chance I really like this palette and so I'll you know I will be keeping it I think that the eyeshadows are just really nice and buttery and very blendable and just amazing so that's all there is to it um, this is the Gwen Stefani Urban Decay palette. I actually do like this palette and I've used it a few times. I would thinking I would like to use it more though. I don't I haven't used it as much as I could. And so I want to get back into this palette. This is really, really pretty on me, the danger. And I'd like to use the 1987 a little bit more. Um and I'd use the pop the other day to do some looks. It you know, it's a pretty nice palette. I think it should have been probably, and I'd gotten it on sale too. This is the Too Faced Stardust by Vegas Nay Palette. I fell in love with this palette, and I loved it so much. And I haven't used it as much as I used to, but this color here, the strip, oh, I love that color. And Follow Me and Jackpot. Like, there's a lot of good colors. I found them to be blendable and everything, so. 
You know, some people don't like it very much. This isn't really a palette, but I sort of treat it like a palette because I like the packaging so much. These were some ColourPop. I will be keeping this. I love it. It's like a bunch of singles. But I treat it like a palette because they, they all fit so well in that box, you know? And last is my Morphe 35P, which are all these great mauve and purple shades and then some warm shades too. It's just a fantastic, fantastic palette. Some people don't like Morphe. Um, I think Morphe's great. I think they're very blendable. I think they're very uh, pigmented. I think they're a wonderful palette. Uh, I really like this color here, this color there. The only thing I don't like is that the colors don't have names. I have a thing about, like everything should have a name. So yeah. I'm going to be getting rid of these five palettes. So none of the really big ones. Um, but I mean, this one's kind of big. The Makeup Revolution one. I don't know. People love Makeup Revolution. Um, and I don't. I just don't. I don't know why people love it so much. And actually, one of my favorite YouTubers, Shannon Shortcake, loves Makeup Revolution, and I'm just kind of like, I watch them because I love her, but I don't like the product. Um, but you know what? She loves them, and that's cool. They work for her. They just don't work for me. They're just not for me. So an EM, I think this is the only EM thing I've ever gotten. I don't even, what is EM? I know it's owned by Michelle Fawn. I don't, where do you even buy EM besides Ipsy? Um, this Maybelline palette just didn't work, and these two little silly. They're not. I guess if it's over two shadows, it's called a palette, but um, they're just like ridiculous. So that are all my palettes. I know it's not as much as like a lot of people's collections, but that's mine, and I'm sure I'll be getting more. So the next declutter collection uh, video will be. Uh, all the lippies, the lipsticks and stuff, that one will probably be kind of long, I think. Or at least long for the, compared to some of these other decluttering videos. So remember to always be kind. I know I'm just staring at nothing right now. Um, even when you want to slap them in the face. And you can find me on other social medias, like Snapchat and Facebook and such. All that information is down below. And, uh... Also, when we reach, speaking of palettes, when we reach uh, 300 subscribers, I'm going to give away this palette, of, among other things, in a giveaway. So, and this color here, just, I, I just love this color. Um, it's a great palette. Uh, the only reason I don't have one is because there was only one left. But I'd heard good things about it. Um, everybody needs, like, a good matte shadow palette and I am going to grab one of these for myself uh, in the future next time I go. Um, I bought it at Walmart and uh, there was only one left and I was kind of sad. Uh, so I'm going to get one next time I go. But hard candy shadows I do like. I have used hard candy shadows before. I like a lot of hard candy things like blushes, lipsticks. I, I really like hard candy. Uh, they have great highlighters, and this uh, looks like a really cool palette, and I want to give it away to you guys, along with other things. So, hey, once we reach 300 subscribers, we will have that giveaway, and it will have other stuff in it as well, some uh, face masks and some other things. Okie dokie, so I will... Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye, kitty cats.